Six months have passed since the James Webb Space Telescope was sent into orbit by a European rocket. Since then, the extremely complex telescope has successfully opened up its large sun shield, turned on its scientific equipment, and traveled more than a million kilometers away from Earth. The James Webb's enormous 6.5-meter diameter reflector is looking outward and gathering data and images for science. It is the biggest and most potent telescope that humans have ever sent into space, and it is already providing new information about the universe. What then has the James Webb Telescope found thus far? What can we anticipate? And why did the James Webb images get the scientists so emotional? We will be looking at this today. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. We're not going to stop talking about it. The James Webb Space Telescope is going to fundamentally alter modern astronomy in so many ways that it will surpass even the Hubble Space Telescope in terms of the breadth and depth of scientific discoveries that it will enable. However, a major goal of Webb's first year of science missions entails the pursuit and investigation of extraterrestrial worlds outside of our solar systems, specifically how they and the possibility for water and organic life come into being. As the largest telescope ever put into orbit, the JWST will use the infrared technology to see objects further from Earth than ever before. In a few days, researchers will publish an image of the universe that has never been seen before, displaying some of the universe's oldest stars and galaxies. The infrared telescope's unparalleled sharpness and clarity have already been demonstrated in test images taken during telescope alignment. The next images, however, will be the first in full color, and it will also highlight web scientific abilities. Our universe's origin were a mysterious dark period. We will soon be able to view the most distant regions of the universe's beginning in real time, thanks to the James Webb Telescope. And according to a recent blog post from NASA, the James Webb Telescope may even shed light on the mysterious origins of hypermassive black holes, which appear to expand more quickly than they have time to. Astronomers believe that the search for primeval black holes in the early universe is one of the most exciting fields of discovery that Webb is about to uncover. These are the earliest forms of the black holes that astronomers have discovered in galactic centers, which are much more massive. Black holes with masses between millions and billions of times that of the Sun are present in the centers of the majority of galaxies. Robert Maiolino, a member of Webb's Near Infrared Spectrometer, suggests that these supermassive black holes have expanded to their enormous size, both by consuming matter nearby and also by merging with smaller black holes. The discovery of hypermassive black holes with masses of several billion solar masses present at a time when the universe was just 700 million years old, a tiny fraction of its current age of 13.8 billion years, is a fascinating result. The Webb team will also release the first exoplanet spectrum obtained by the telescope, which is a study of the light that travels through a planet's atmosphere and identifies the molecules that are present there. About 5,000 so-called exoplanets, or planets that orbit stars than the Sun, have been discovered by the astronomers. But statistically speaking, there should be many more. According to the Planetary Society, the cosmos may contain more than 100 billion galaxies, each with hundreds of billions of stars. There may be billions of trillions of exoplanets out there if most stars have one or more planets orbiting them. Webb can be used to examine planet atmospheres by scientists. Exoplanets' atmospheres act as filters for the star's light when those planets pass in front of it. Because molecules in the atmosphere absorb specific light wavelengths or colors, astronomers can determine the molecular composition of an atmosphere by dividing the star's light into its component parts and creating a rainbow. Some of the earliest and faintest light in the cosmos will be observed by the James Webb Telescope. When many of the initial stars and galaxies were born, fewer than 300 million years after the Big Bang, this time period will be studied by the huge telescope. It will also be used by scientists to look inside the atmospheres of other planets. Findings of essential elements for life, such as water and methane, could indicate the potential for habitability or biological activity. 
According to astronomers, Webb will usher in a golden era for cosmological comprehension. The telescope's first batch of cosmic picture targets were chosen to display it at its best without jeopardizing some of the planned observations for later in the year. Webb could also be able to do more than just discover where aliens' world might be. By just observing the whole star of a potential candidate, a sensor known as the Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, or NIRIS, could detect signals from Earth 2.0. The nearest SOSS mode will allow the James Webb Space Telescope to collect extremely accurate spectra from a single bright object at a time. This mode is designed to conduct time series observations which are perfect for researching phenomena like an exoplanet transiting in front of its host star that vary over the course of an observation that generally lasts for many hours. The WFSS mode will allow the NIRIS to assist Webb in collecting data from thousands of objects like galaxies at once throughout the detector's entire field of view. To track how galaxies have changed throughout the history of the universe, it will be possible to estimate the distances, ages, and other physical characteristics of thousands of galaxies using their spectra. When the sky is sufficiently bright, the nearest instrument's AMI mode will let the James Webb Space Telescope see brown dwarfs, protoplanetary disks, and even exoplanets themselves. It's the first time we've ever utilized such a technique to peer into other planets and it only represents a small percentage of the scientific treasures awaiting for us this summer when Webb starts its science missions in earnest. Mid-infrared light can penetrate clouds that are 20 times thicker than visible light. This is especially important when observing young stars that are tucked away within their natal clouds. For young stars, these clouds have not yet dispersed so we cannot see visible light. This is why Webb's infrared capabilities are so important. They let us glimpse, analyze, and comprehend the very early stages of star formation when gas and dust are still collapsing inward to give birth to young stars. But that's hardly the only thing we'll discover inside natal stellar clouds. The first first light observations from the space telescope, which might be a game-changing moment for astronomy, will be revealed by NASA on July 12 in the form of numerous photographs. According to NASA's Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy, what she has seen moved her as a scientist, an engineer, and a person. Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, Thomas Serbican acknowledged that the new images had left him feeling emotional. At the press conference, he said that it's incredibly difficult to avoid seeing the universe in a new way and to avoid simply experiencing a deeply intimate experience. He continued by saying that it's an emotional experience to witness nature suddenly reveal some of its secrets, and he wished for us to imagine and anticipate that. The photographs could provide us with the first glimpses of another habitable planet by providing previously unseen vistas of the universe's depths and the atmosphere of a far-off exoplanet. It is a result of more than 10 years of research and a $10 billion investment that may soon pay off handsomely. It makes sense that the project scientists are having some emotional moments and this is only the beginning. It will finally begin genuine science mission soon with the potential of presenting us with the first true photograph of atmospheres on extraterrestrial worlds beyond our solar system. Webb will also investigate moving objects in our own solar system, giving highly advanced tracking and imaging systems to scientists whose expertise is focused on things closer to Earth. It may potentially aid in the discovery of the evolution of old and supermassive black holes. One thing is certain, as Webb begins its science missions in earnest, the frequency of updates and new photographs will rise. And as each release makes its way through the media world in waves, the globe will experience a new sort of astronomy with discoveries and scientific impact accelerating to unprecedented speeds. And we're here to witness it. Are you excited to discover more about our cosmos? I'm super excited. Let us know what you think about the James Webb Telescope in the comments section below. This brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so as to stay updated on our latest news. Otherwise, enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next video. If you love our content, check out these others. Thanks for watching.